Hello all, today I will be talking to you about AI art. So before we get into examples of images of AI art that I want to talk about kind of from an art historian perspective, talking about the pieces, what stands out, what makes them different from traditional art, we first need to define what AI art actually is. So AI art is simply artwork that's made with the assistance of generative AI, a technology that finds patterns in big data sets and uses that information to create new content. The most common way that people use AI art is through generative AI. They'll type in something they want to see or a combination of things they want to see and the AI will put out that image. But today I want to talk about artists who are using AI in a different way to create beautiful pieces. So the first example I want to show is Jason Allen's AI artwork titled Theatre d'Opera Spatial. This took the first place in the digital category at the Colorado State Fair in 2022. This is a beautiful piece of work. There's a lot going on, and the circle with light coming from it is something that is achieved through AI, this kind of vibrant reflectiveness um, that would be really hard to do with traditional paint. Um, and yet it still does look like a really well done oil painting. Uh, so this is the first example I wanted to talk about because I think it really shows the level at which AI can put out uh, beautiful pieces of work that resemble an oil painting. The next example shown here is an AI generated image from someone who wanted to make it look like a pencil drawing. And this is really interesting because it really does resemble uh, graphite and yet it's just another AI module creating this piece. So AI has really figured out how to resemble mediums that look real. This example is from an AI artist named Rafik Anadol, um, and he specializes in immersive and interactive installations. So he also uses audio um, in his works, and he creates these massive kind of walk-in pieces that almost look like they're coming off of the screen as you can see with really vibrant colors that just makes it look incredibly interesting and this AI artist is a great example of someone who's really pushing the limits that AI art has to offer and working to produce something that could not be done through traditional art. This next example is more of the classic approach to generative AI art in that it's taking works from a very famous painter, Vincent van Gogh, calculating how to emulate his style, his brushstroke patterns, um, his lighting and his paintings, and creates a whole new image that looks like it's done by Vincent van Gogh. This is a great example of how AI art gained a lot of popularity in recent years, is that people were so impressed with the fact that AI could produce work that really captures and looks like work from a famous traditional artist. This next example titled Edmond de Bellamy is an AI painting that is the highest selling painting so far created by AI. It sold for $432,500, which was over 40 times the initial estimate of the piece. I wanted to include this piece because it really shows how much value AI art has to offer and that it's really picking up in the art world and being purchased by art buyers. The last example I wanted to talk about is this piece titled Robot Painting at an Easel. This was generated on Midjourney, and the prompt was given by a guy named Eric Griffith. 
I think this piece is really great because it kind of shows the direction that the world is going in uh, with AI art. And I thought this was a great example of generative AI uh, because Eric Griffith gave it a prompt and this is what it came up with. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick presentation on AI art and I encourage you to go find an AI software and just try it out. It could be fun.